Man, we're back. Nope, I didn't get a piece of gun. Nope. Uh, I almost got there. So you're saying you need to play Assassin's Creed 2. By the way, Assassin's Creed... 3. 3. Turtles in Time. No, that's that's, that's 4, almost. isn't it? Isn't Look, it 4, yeah. 4 is Turtles in Time? Yes. Yes. Looks, 3 is the Manhattan Project. Manhattan Project. Assassin's Creed 3, the Manhattan Project. I am intrigued. <laughs> I gotta tell you, the first time I saw... It's completely the, apropos of nothing, I gotta say that. The first time I saw that Assassin's Creed commercial, I went... <sighs> no way... In a bad way. I don't want to see them doing that stuff. And <clears throat> Akira VGA with the home run makes the point. There are so many video games right now. Yes. It, it's... And so many good video games. Can I say that too? There are, yeah. Good Compared to say video tw- games. 10, 20 years ago. Yeah. There are so many good video games on the market. Yep. It's, unless you have absolutely no life, you cannot play all the good ones. I know. You have to trust reviews more and more. It's true. That can be a problem. Right, especially when you're only reviewing games that are 20 years old. Exactly. So if I wait to, to see a game that you reviewed, I'm pretty much... You're screwed. I'm, I'm gone already. Exactly. It's not going to happen. So just don't play any new games. Uh, exactly. That's one thing to do. That is one thing to do, and people have su- suggested that. And the problem is, can you trust reviewers? Uh, There's been, uh, you know, various... Scandals. Scandals. Conspiracy uh, as theories. As of late, there's uh, been talk about people not getting bonuses because their Metacritic score for a particular game they worked on didn't reach a certain magic level. And so that pisses them it's, off. It's very difficult to quantify. It is. But the fact is, reviews do affect games. And they of do course. affect sales of, of course. games. And, which is why I continue to be completely misunderstanding of games that are reviewed exceedingly well and don't sell at all. But that is neither here nor there. And I don't really don't think it has anything to do with them being short or long, except for the fact that it does have to do with Vulcan Assassin's Point, which is they get rid... You know, it is shovelware. It's trying to get more games out as fast as possible. But my point is, there are so many good games. Now, I have to pick. Well, I, think that, I can't play 1, 2, and 3 Halo. I have to play 4. But that's a big problem. Uh, these games are so long. Now, there wasn't Halo 4 yet. It's, it's Reach, which I think is the best game. But anyway, go ahead. There are so many games that are long, right? whether they're kind of shoveled with crap to make them long, yep. repetitive crap, uh, that you have to choose. You have to. You cannot play every great game that comes out in a year. And that sucks. I mean, I, I get I get aggravated with so, that. So should these game companies kind of try to consolidate and say, you know what? It's okay if my game is five hours long instead of ten hours long, because those are five really quality hours... And then people can play it and move on to something else. See, I'm not willing to go that far, but can I make a suggestion? No. Okay. All right. Well, we're done. Move on to that next part of the old podcast. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is, no. The suggestion I wanted to make was this: Why not have basically two versions of the game? A short game, a short version and a long version. Yeah. So why not allow someone to pick at the beginning that they want to play Skyrim, but they're not interested in any side quests; they just want to play the story. And then you click that button, and none of the side quests are available. It's only the story. And you could finish it in a matter of, what, 10 hours, 11 hours, 12 hours? I'm about to drop the bomb on you. Ready for this? Yeah. It's called DLC. I don't, no, I don't, I don't understand what you mean. It still doesn't make it. It's not. I have, I have literally no idea what the hell you're talking about. DLC. Uh, what does it have to do with anything? We're LA Noir sold as a game. Yes. So as a game, really? As, as a complete game. Oh, as a game. Okay. And then you had DLC to do uh, Spare Quest. I thought it was a movie. I heard that. Well, kind of that too. Yeah. But and then you had. You, oh, that, LA, that was LA Confidential. That's a good movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. But, good. Yeah. You, Academy Award. You get. Really? Yep. For what? Winning. Oh right. You get the DLC if you want to do extra side quests. Alec Baldwin? I, I don't know. Anyway, good. Yes. Yes. So, okay. So, though people yes. say, oh, DLC sucks. Yes. It does oh, suck. Oh, see, I don't think it sucks. And you can check out why I don't think it sucks <laughs> at videogameauctions.com and check out my interview. Ding. Because I, do, because I, was, ta- I was asked that wonderfully educational question. Plug. Bye. Andrew, Akira VGA. Okay, well, tell anyway, everyone, give us a, a preview. Why does DLC not suck? Is this a reason it doesn't suck? DLC doesn't suck with a caveat. Okay. If DLC is handled in the right way, I don't think it sucks. This is totally off topic. But, because I still have no idea how the hell you're tying this to the length of the game. Because but, when you buy DLC with extra quests, that lengthens the game. 
So you're saying that game that wait a minute. You're saying game companies should release the game DLC free for, for when it comes out. So they're just like the game. Like a bear game. And all it does is five missions that takes you three hours. And then you for go example, and, and then you go and download it's a straight story. You pay monies. Same thing with Grand Theft Auto Four. Now is that does that game cost the full sixty bucks? No. It's DLC. So it cost DLC. I think you're mixing con- uh, your nomenclature at this point. But anyway, <laughs> so you download something that maybe is 15 bucks. You play the first 10 missions. And then you download the next one for 15 bucks. That's the next six missions. Well. Yeah, I see, I don't like that. No, what you're talking about is episodic format, which video game companies yes. do do. Yes, back I to the future. Do do. Do-do. Yeah, Telltale Games. That's what they. That's yeah. what and they I, do. I love Telltale's model. I think it's fantastic. Sam and Max, Back to the Future, blah blah blah. Jurassic Park. I'm talking about. You have a game like Grand Theft Auto, mm-hmm. like L.A. Noire, which yep. is a full contained game. Goes from beginning to end. There's a storyline and probably a little bit of side stuff if you want to. Right. Then, if you want to do extra missions, if you want to do more side quests, right. That could be DLC, and that is something that was used by both okay. games. Okay, fine with that. I'm, so if I'm someone, cool with that. if I mean. But My point is though that there should if I if I I want to pay sixty bucks for Skyrim, mm-hmm. sixty bucks, okay, I'm gonna go blow sixty bucks to buy a brand new game. If I pop it in the drive, what is limiting them from enabling me to click a button that says, "The first time I play this game, I just want to play the main quest," and then I'll either continue to play with that character to do side quests, or I'll start a whole new game where I can play anything I want to play. Well, you can just stop yourself from doing side quests. I mean, you can do that. My point is it gets... Is that so, too hard for you? It, it is a little hard for me because <sighs> I get so distracted by the miscellaneous quest list because it gets so long. How am I ever going to finish all those quests? It doesn't even make any Sounds sense. Sounds like you're whining about fir- first world problems here. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> There's too much in this game. And by this game, I mean my life. Right. So, um, yeah. But the thing is, is that, so actually, that kind of works. So you have something like Skyrim that's just yeah. so huge. You can have yeah. the teenagers or whatever, people who actually have time, they can do everything in the world. Sure. And, you know, and people s- like you, you can know, play. Skyrim is, is about choice. I agree. So, it, fair enough. My point is. Same thing I, with Dragon Quest Nine. My point is, I'd like to just be able to flip a switch. And not and make all that go away. Instead and then of I can, having willpower, it's not even instead of having willpower. It's just they go, hey, here's the next thing. Oh, go to this. You know, the quest like follow each other, and you go and do the stuff. So you do and you want. can you can make choices there. Like there can be different. For example, you know, you go inside with you know the storm cloaks. You go inside with the empire. Right. That's a, that's a choice you have to make. But <clears throat> it's it's all a part of the main story. So we've been talking about games that are too long. For for people that think the games are too long, yes, that's a way to make them shorter. What about for people who who think games are too short? What if they play? They don't have kids. What if they? Well, yeah, but um, maybe they don't. Maybe there's some guy who's very happy and he has a hundred thousand dollar year job and a Miata and a Dodge Stratus. And, he drives a Dodge Stratus. Yes, and he he's uh, responsible for people. He is. Sarah Michelle Gellar is his daughter. No, he has no kids. Oh, okay. He has a lot of money, which means right. he has no kids. Right. So. Right. Yes. So and he plays. He has his Xbox. Okay. And his PS Wii. Yes. And he's playing them, and he's like, I love playing all the games. He Damn loves it. playing with his PS Wii. So, when he plays Call of Modern Duty Metal Three, and he's like, Why is this only ten hours long? I want it to be longer. Right. And I don't want to pay DLC for it because that's crap. Yeah. How do we do that? Well, at that point, the dude doesn't have much of an excuse. I mean, if at that point the DLC model only makes sense, doesn't it? True, because, because at that if point, they're going if to be to extend it. if they're going to be pumping out a Medal of Duty eight five every year, Manhattan Project, they really don't have the time to put it all together at once and then wait and you know. Yes, yeah, so this brings me back to my to, so, to the point so why I think DLC can be good. If you think games are too short, DLC is the answer. I agree, and and so here's I have a problem with DLC being an excuse to not finish a game. So we can say, in other words, that I got seventy five percent of the game that I wanted to build. But say we ran out of development time, so on and so forth, and they release that game, and then make you buy DLC in order to finish the real campaign. So in a weird way... That's when I have a problem with DLC. Well, yeah, but DLC yeah. to extend a game 
with beyond extra with extra stuff side quests or you know just to keep going into the next level you know it's almost like a sequel cheap so it's kind of funny how this is originally a topic about games being too short or long and in the end it wound up being a bit of a screed for dlc yeah i know it's interesting because i think dlc solves a lot of these problems strangely if it's done well this is the 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 bright side of dlc I, and i think there is if a bright done side well I, I think there is a bright side to DLC, and, I, and I, folks, I, I got to tell you, even if you don't like it, you better get used to it because it's working. When they announce DLC before the game comes out, correct. That's a little. Weird. I I could not agree more about that. By the way. <laughs> I could not agree more about that. But what happened? Your game, too, your game too short by long gamer. Make your game longer and harder. Wow! 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 wow. All right. Yeah. With that, I think we've pretty much worn kick- that sucker out. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So anyway, I you know I don't know that we've we've figured anything out beyond the fact that DLC can help us make games that that we want longer, longer for folks that do need it, and uh, that you know maybe for some of the 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 games that are too long, as long as you have those ability to save, spot save, you know, Spock, Spock, oh spot, Spock, um, then it's then it's fine. You know, you can make it work. The spot saving is good. The save state. The uh, quick save, as it were. Anyway, all right. So, now it's time. Is there any music for this part? No. No. Okay, damn. Sorry. Well, we're working on that, folks. All right. Anyway, we're going to go to Q&A. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway. Okay. Um, send your questions. Send your questions. Here. There. Private message. PM. COTGW. COTGW. Bam. We already have a few. Let's go. Here we go. Let's see what we let's, got. Let's see. Do, 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 do. That's not a question, but thank you. Thank you. Flower Girl 220 says that they'd like to thank us uh, to take the time to answer their question. You're welcome. You are very welcome. Yes. Next. Let's see what else we got. Uh, <laughs> is Prang Raid still in the room? Well, of course. He should be. Is if he's not, he needs to say if he's here, and then I'll answer his question. Yeah. Next. Um, there he is. You have to answer his question. Okay, fine. Chris Pranger asks, Why exactly am I so awesome? Uh, actually, is that... Okay. And, uh, but except he can't put a question mark after his questions, which is... He's, it's a two-parter. Oh, okay. Why exactly am I so awesome? And what have I done beca- to become less awesome so suddenly? Well... That's a tough question. It is. Um, I actually studied this a little bit in college. I took a few semesters. Did you Did you write about it? I did. Uh, a few screeds. Hmm. Uh, and, and I have... I have some fan fiction about this. Uh, I think it really all... In, it kind of revolves around the um, acceptance of uh, slave music in 1850s America. Yes. And how Adele is continuing that tradition. Exactly. That is why Chris Pranger is awesome. And... Why he suddenly became less awesome. I think that really speaks for itself. Yes. Uh, also, why does Skyward Sword make him weep? I think it's because you suck. Yeah, I think. Actually. I'm. I have no idea why that happens. Now, he has a lot of hate for Skyward Sword. I've noticed lately. Now, okay, is is that weep with joy? Uh, weep no. with elation because of the tremendous story. No. Weep because it's a pitiful game that never should have been made. Probably that. I enjoyed it. Granted, I haven't finished it yet, but still. Pranger Eight is rolling in the deep. That is what I hear. Um, anyway, next question. Next question. Boom. Hey, Commodore. Who asked this question? I can't uh, see it. Random oh, it's random Ustream Anonymous, sir. Hey, Commodore, what console did you play Skyrim on? And what it slash, what did you think of the load times? And the question mark was separate, which I loved. Um, <laughs> so uh, I actually play on the 360. Those of you that watch the Weekly Ringer know that I do not own a PS3, nor do I think I ever will. I have played on the 360. I have seen it also played on the PC, which does have better load times, I have to say. The 360, I have to say, does have... The load times are generally very good. The times that it becomes really problematic is when you're walking around a city and you actually are trying to go in doors and um, you know people's houses slash the inn slash all these other places. It gets really old. Basically loading all of all of the exterior Skyrim, which takes a few minutes, mm-hmm. and then literally walking across the street or down the hall 
opening another door and it has to load all over again back into the, so that does get pretty old but by and large i have to say for the for 